Okay, Yvonne, uh, let's take a look at this here and see. Um, so apparently you want to open up an image or maybe even a pop-up or something when you click on a link. So let's go in here. Let's find the right page that I'm working on. Okay, a couple different ways we can do this. Um, the first one here is just a an image pop-up. So you uh, just go in here and you grab yourself an image uh, pop up right there. And it's probably isn't exactly what you're looking for, but I'll show it to you anyway. And then when somebody clicks on that image pop up, then the other image will pop up. So you have a thumbnail and then you have the image. So let's just open this up real quick. So you set your thumbnail right here and your full size image right there. Of course, you grab them out of your image library and um, there you go. It just click, click and it opens that up. All right. So that's one way of doing it. Second way to do it is again, we have an either an image or some text element. So let's just click on an image here and we're going to say hashtag open pop up. You put that in there. If you don't know or don't remember what to put in when you come in here and there's just a hashtag there, when you click on it, it's going to give you your hashtag options. So you can just put in open pop up. And then the same thing down here for text, you would turn it into a hyperlink. And then you would just put in hashtag open pop up. And when you do that, then I'll just show you what the pop up looks like. Here's a pop up, but you could make the pop up as just an image. So basically take everything else out of here and just drop in an image element, make the background transparent and it would look like an image. And so then we come in here, we click on that, boom, opens a pop up or we click here and it opens a pop up. Okay. So now a third way to do it is if you built the pop-up as a page, and I'll drop in a link here to how I do this with my legal pages, uh, but it's a way of using a click pop inside of ClickFunnels to open up anything. Now, I tested it and it does not work with an image because of the way the URL is attached to the image. It doesn't work properly. So it will work though with just any text element and a, or a navigation element. So let me show you how this works. Let me see what I still have open here. Let me pause this first. Okay. Like I said, I like to do this with my legal pages. So in this case here, we have my privacy page. And when you're doing this, you want to make it so that the content is narrower. And you're going to see why once I have this thing pop up, if you go full width page, you may not even notice really that it's a pop up. So you want to make a smaller and narrower content on this. And so you come into your privacy policy, you click on publishing, and then we're going to go get our click pop code. Now, what happened here is as I was testing this, I couldn't get it to work. And I found out that ClickFunnels changed the code in here and it's actually wrong. So let me show you how to do it and make it work properly. And then I'm, I actually have an appointment to talk to the guys on Thursday. So I'll talk to them about it then. So you just right click on that and you just, you just copy it. And we're going to drop this into a notepad over here. But before we drop it in the notepad, we want to change our formatting to make it plain text, much less likely that something's going to get messed up if we do it this way. So we're going to drop that in. And this comes as two different sections. You got your script section right here. Then you have this up here, which is a href, which means that that's a, a link, a hyperlink, a URL, whatever you want to call it. This is what the code would look like if you put it in as a link into something. So then uh, what I found here, though, is where this says CF underline modal. That's actually wrong. It should be CF pop just like this up here. That's what it should look like. It should not be CF modal. And so what we're going to do is we're going to take the correct code and we're going to copy that. And I already did this. So we're going to copy it right there. And then we're going to go into our funnel. Let me see. Do I have that page open still? Nope. Let me get this out of the way and then back out of here and we can leave that page. And so we are on this thank you page here, but it doesn't matter which one we're in. We're in this funnel here and I got all kinds of test stuff in here. And what we want to do is we want to go to settings because we want to make, put this code in there for every single funnel or every single page inside of this funnel. And the reason why is no matter what the page is, no matter what the funnel is, is exactly the same code for every single uh, click pop that you're going to use inside of ClickFunnels all needs this JavaScript 
code that we're going to put in here. So we're going to click on settings and we're going to come down and we're going to paste that code right here into our body tracking code. So you do it one time and then you can use all the click pops you want anywhere inside of that funnel. And you see here, I got CF pop.js right there instead of the CF modal that they had that was incorrect. So now we'll go back into that page and we'll open it back up again. And the second thing we want to do is we want to come up here and we want to grab a hold of just this URL right there. So HTTPS, colon, slash, slash, whatever the domain, it'll say opt-in box in the middle, then I have a bunch of numbers and letters after it. We're going to copy that and we're going to put that in two places because we've got two places we want to test here. And so here again, we're going to highlight this whole thing, click the link to make it hypertext, and then we're going to paste in that URL right there. And then again, right here, I'm doing this as a navigation element. You would come in here and again, I'm just using features and I paste in that URL right there for the features. And now we're going to click on save and then we will preview it. And I already did this already, of course. And so now what we're gonna do is we're gonna click on small call to action headline right here. And if it works right, it pops up and it just lays over the rest of the page here. And this is why I use it for my legal pages because I don't want people leaving the page or anything else. You don't want people leaving the page. So you just have it here. The click pop works great. Shows it on the screen. When somebody's done, they can click anywhere on the page and get out of it. Or if we click on features here, it's going to pop up again. So instead of clicking anywhere on the page, we can come all the way over here and click on the X and there it is gone. So there you go. There's a couple of different ways that you can open up a page, an image or whatever you want right in here. So of course, if you want just an image, you can make an entire page that is just an individual image and have it come up with the click pop if you wanted to do it that way. So if you got any questions, let me know.